Today, we are learning about horizontal translations of quadratic relations. All right, so let's start off with our standard quadratic equation, y equals x squared and its graph. Now, there's also this equation here, which is essentially the same as y equals x squared, except for the fact that this graph has a horizontal translation applied to it. When written like this, if h is greater than zero, then the graph will shift over to the right by h units. When h is less than zero, then the graph will shift over to the left by h units. And what about when h is zero? Well, since it is neither moving to the right or the left, it should be the same graph, unmoved. And if you actually test this out by substituting zero for h, you'd see that you end up with y equals x squared. Good. Now there's a potential confusion that some students may find difficulty with. Let's explore further in detail through the use of an example. Let's start off by pulling up the information for each case that we mentioned earlier. All right, so here's the equation we will be working with. The information here says that if h is positive, then we are looking at a horizontal translation to the right and that if h is negative, then we are looking at a horizontal translation to the left. Now, do not make the mistake of thinking that our h here is negative. I can understand why you might be tempted to think this way. Since we have this minus sign here, you might feel that this equation has a negative h, but this is certainly not the case. In order to avoid confusion, try starting with this form right here. What would we need to plug into h in order to get the equation that we were given? Well, if we plug in h equals two, then we would get this, wouldn't we? And as you can see, our h is actually positive two. Notice that if we thought that h is negative two, then all we'd have to do is plug negative two into this equation and we'd find that we end up with this, which simplifies down to y equals x plus two squared. Of course, we already know that this isn't the equation that we were considering in the beginning, which means that our h was never equal to negative two. So since we've established that our h is a positive number, we can count on the graph shifting over to the right by two units. So the key here is that when you have an equation in this format, then a positive h will move the graph to the right by h units. Let's try another example before we finish off this lesson. Here are our conditions and our quadratic equation. So which way would our graph shift based on this equation and by how much? Well, this is easy. We know that in the form of y equals x minus h squared, we can say that if h is a positive number, then the graph would shift to the right. And if h is a negative number, then the graph would shift over to the left. As you can see, the only way we can end up with a plus sign is by having a negative h value. Notice how if we have h equals negative one and we plug it into the formula, then we would get this, which is equal to y equals x plus one squared. And we see that they end up being the same equation when h is equal to negative one. So since our h is a negative number, we know for a fact that this graph would shift over to the left by exactly one unit. Awesome. So that's it for this video on horizontal translations of quadratic equations, and we will see you in the next video.